So guys, today I have a very exciting plan. I will be strapping my split board to my bike. I'm gonna bike to Big Mountain and then skin to the top, ride back down to my bike and then bike home. Uphill has begun and I'm already feeling it. It's gonna be a slog, but that's to be expected. Just getting up to the village. A little bit of snow's coming down. Definitely cooler up here, which is quite nice after pedaling uphill so much. Super stoked, hop on the split. Continue to the semi. About to throw the split board on and start skinning up. One thing about skiing and snowboarding is that you have to get to the mountains. You have to get to the snow. And that oftentimes requires a car or a sled or a truck, or maybe even an airplane or a helicopter. And those modes of transportation require gas. And every time you go out and ski and snowboard, there's an impact on the environment. That's just something in the back of my mind that kind of discourages me from doing that is the amount of transportation it takes to get there. And doing something like this on my bike really opened my eyes to how fun it can be to ditch all that stuff. Not need any motors. The only real impact you're making is maybe a bagel, some fruit, some bars. It doesn't take any fossil fuels and it's a lot of fun. So I encourage all of you Give this a try at your local ski hill. If you live, you know, within a reasonable biking distance of a mountain, give it a shot. It's super fun. And even if you don't ski or snowboard and you'd like to do something else in the mountains, give it a try, bike there. Add another element to the adventure. Shake it up a little bit. It's different, it's fun. You slow down a little bit and really soak in everything that's around you. Just like now.